When a poor elderly man rescued a baby rat from its untimely death, the last thing he ever expected was kindness in return. What started off as a sweet friendship and companionship very quickly turned into the difference between life and death. Kevin was an elderly man who lived during World War II. He had survived the conflict and lived to see richer days ahead of him, something he had hoped for during the battles but had never thought would become a reality. One day, he was sitting with his great-grandson in the garden when he asked him a very interesting question. The boy wanted to know how his great-grandfather had survived the war and its atrocities. This was something Kevin himself found to be a miracle. How he had survived the war simply came down to something that he hadn't expected in the least. He took a deep breath and began to recount his war days to his great-grandson. Kevin was about 90 years old now, but could still very distinctly remember that time. How he had lived, how things had been, and so forth. He started off by describing what the times were like then. It was simply a time of no luxury. People had experienced the First World War and were well aware of what another conflict could bring to their lives. Kevin himself had served in the First War, but sustained shrapnel injuries that prevented him from seeing it through. He had been just 48 at the time. When World War II came around, he was in his 60s and could not serve his country because of his old age and poor health. This left him with very little to do during the war. He had been a tailor by profession, but just like everything else, his company had simply whittled away to nothing when the war began. This left him and his wife destitute, with no real way of getting any form of income. Luckily for them, there were shelters where they could collect some warm-cooked meals, things like porridge, soups, and even some stews. This truly helped to sustain Kevin and others like him in the same situation. When they were desperate for money, Kevin would pawn off items from their home just so they could have something to spare. Their lives continued like that until the winter rolled in. By this time, the war had gotten quite bad. The resources that were around before were no longer. The kitchen that provided Kevin and his wife with food had to close down, leaving many very hungry. It was at this time that Kevin decided to pawn off as much of his summer clothing as possible. If he could get enough money, he could see himself and his wife through the winter with some grain. His poor family was in a different region, away from where they were. He only prayed that they were better off than them. They successfully made it through the winter thanks to Kevin's quick thinking, but were faced with another season of hardship in spring. Some shelters were able to open again and provide a little food, but it was nothing like the start of the war. Kevin and his wife were simply wasting away, just like everyone around them. There was not enough food to go around to keep everyone plump, but still, Kevin pushed to maintain a positive mindset. After all, they were doing everything they could. Unfortunately, just after the spring had come to an end, Kevin's wife fell awfully ill. She passed away after just three days of being sick, with no explanation of what it might be. Officials simply took her away, leaving poor Kevin all alone. One day, when he was on his way back home, he came across some cats circling around something. He shooed the cats away to find a tiny little rat baby curled up on the floor. Kevin simply scooped up the little creature and held it close to his body. He knew he wanted to help the sweet baby, and since he was now all alone in the world, he could really use a companion. So he took him back to his room and gave him some sugar water. Sure enough, the little creature started to stir and come back to life. Kevin was elated. The rat would live. He vowed to take care of it to the best of his ability. So every day when he went to the shelter, he would be sure to bring back a small morsel of bread with him for his rat friend. The rat would always run out of his little space when Kevin got home and eat the bread gratefully. Another hard winter came, and this time Kevin didn't have much to exchange for food or money. However, he persevered thanks to his little friend. On days when Kevin didn't have much energy, he would simply lie on the floor and teach the rat little tricks. How to fetch buttons or coin-like objects, walk on its back feet, and even come when called by a whistle. These little training exercises actually gave Kevin something to focus on. It helped him get through some of the hardest years of his life. But it was when Kevin was truly facing death that the rat did something completely unbelievable. 
It was just four years after their first encounter. The war was close to an end, but things were still terribly bad for the global population. The news they were receiving via the papers wasn't reflecting the reality of the situation. Cities were cut off from food supplies, and people were starving. In addition to that, people battled to get hold of resources like wood to keep their homes warm. It was truly a dire time to be alive. It was then that Kevin thought his time had come to an end. It was a bitterly cold winter unlike the ones they had had for years. Everyone was freezing, whether they were inside or out. In addition to this, food was extremely scarce. The food portions Kevin and the rest were receiving were almost a fifth of what they had started out with. Some days Kevin wouldn't even bother to try and get food because it took too much energy to go and get it. He also began to think that there were people, younger people, who were more deserving of such a meal than he was. As far as Kevin was concerned, his time was coming. He felt very old and frail. He was nothing but skin and bones. At this point, he had run out of things to pawn off. All he had were the clothes on his back and a small blanket he had managed to savor all these years. Resigning himself to his situation, he simply lay down one day and didn't get up. He would talk to his rat friend when he was awake, making conversation as best he could, but would often just fall back asleep as soon as he was tired again. One day when he opened his eyes, the rat just wasn't there. He mustered up as much energy as he could to call his little friend, but got nothing in return. He thought that perhaps the rat had decided to move on now that he had simply no food to share with him. He didn't resent it, but did feel sad at the loss of company. So Kevin closed his eyes and fell off into a deep sleep. When he woke up a couple of hours later, he was met with something he could hardly believe. He had to struggle to sit up and rub his eyes as much as he could. Before him stood the little rat, and in front of it lay three coins. They were old vintage gold coins that were simply worth a fortune. Kevin couldn't believe it. The rat had just saved his life. Sure enough, when Kevin found the energy, he took a coin into a local shop and was able to get a handsome amount of money for it. He then took the money to the food store and was able to buy a giant bag of grain, one that could get him through a good couple of months. He stumbled home as fast as his body would let him. He made himself and the rat some porridge to eat and simply cried. All those years ago, his small act of kindness towards a helpless creature had paid off, because four years later, the rat had saved his life. Kevin turned to his great-grandson whose eyes were filled with wonder. He simply chuckled and said, Now you know how I survived the war. Well, the boy certainly didn't expect the involvement of a rat, but life is always full of surprises. Who would have thought that a rat could have such a high level of emotional intelligence? What is your feeling about mice and rats in general? Would you have saved the little rat from the cats as well? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time.